So Hana, wait, we can't see you. Let me. How do I make this so she? Okay, Hana is here. She's gonna ask questions about this. more her, both of us. Right, so it's. I've been the last two days, Hana. Yes. I started to tell you this, but I said let me make it live. For the last two days, I've been teaching people meditation. And just because people ask so often, I thought I would run through basic course in meditation. So I did two days. Okay. I'm going to repeat some of what I did because there's so many things to learn, but in the end, it doesn't take much at all. It's very simple. <clears throat> now, when you meditate, the purpose is to close your mind, quiet it. Now, I mean, you can't make it get quiet. You just sit. And when you sit, the nervous system calms. When the nervous system calms, the thoughts, they, they cease, or they slow down. And the perfect idea is that there will be no thoughts. But we begin maybe with hundreds of thoughts running through our mind, right? And those thoughts are like clouds. And when your nervous system is turbulent, then the thoughts and the, the noise of the, of the thoughts become the, the source of problems, suffering. Now, if you had one thought in your mind only, that would be single-pointed focus. And why is that good? Because then everything disappears but the thought. Almost like I said the other time uh, I was teaching a car accident. When the world moves so slow. You ever been in it? How old are you? 48. 48. So, you've been in a car accident? Once, yes. Did everything move really slow? It no. happened so fast. Okay. Well, did you ever fall and take a long time to hit the ground? Yes. You ever dance? You ever dance? Yes, yes. And everything moves slow because you're so present? Yes. This is the focus that comes, like basketball players get it when the ball's coming in slow motion because they are so focused. So single-pointed focus is the, the goal of meditation, to be right here. And if you're right here, you see God's miracles floating. We have, to open, we have to close our eyes. I'll get there. Okay. <laughs> Don't think too much. Just listen and you can repeat. And I can't tell you not to think because I'll teach you that you cannot unthink. You can just be still and the mind will settle. Okay. So let me speak. And then you can ask a, lot of, a couple of questions. Okay. So the idea is that the mind be still. Okay. And the nervous system is a core component. When the nervous system is still, the mind settles. And when the mind settles, the nervous system is still. Okay. So what you want is to see those miracles. When you're totally present, the world looks bright and beautiful. When there's no noise separating you from this beauty. So you want the mind to settle so you can see only what's in front of you and not all the noise and the, the past and the future become the past and the future. You are in the present. So you want to be present. And the way we're going to achieve this level of presence, or some level of presence, <clears throat> is through a mantra. The mantra I'm going to give you today is rum. Mm. You drink? No. You drink? Not recently. I met you in it. <laughs> you drink. So rum and coke. <laughs> See, you That's know good. rum and coke. Yeah. Are you not supposed to drink? No. You, but you do anyway. Yeah. I, but I met you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You so, remember, right? Yes. So rum, rum, rum. Does it mean something? It has no meaning. Good question. Rum is a vibration. There are some meditators who use that vibration and it is associated with the third chakra. Mm. But that's the creep. But for us, on our purpose, it's just a vibration. So we focus our mind to the vibration, to the exclusion of all thoughts. All thoughts disappear. We are focused on one thing. Like when the car accident or when you are dancing mm -hmm. and everything is just so present because the future and the past are gone. Yes. Right? But to really be present uh, and fully stuck on stupid or stuck in the present moment, there's no suffering. You are completely enlightened. But we have seconds where we are present. And the things we do that get us there are written in all the scriptures. 
in the yogic science, we have a meditation. And in all um, religions, the prophets taught us to be still and know. Yes. You're a Christian, a devout Christian. Yes. Okay, be still and know. Still. Stillness is the goal. Yes. When the nervous system calms, the mind settles. There's a sutra, Yoga Shitta Priti Namodaha. Yoga, or Christ consciousness, happens when the mind is still. So when the mind is still, this presence, heaven on earth, sets in. You see heaven on earth when you're totally present. So through the meditation, the nervous system calms and you start to feel awake, present, here and now. Meditation is the, is the gift of being in the present moment. Right? Morning. Swasiastu. Okay. All right, so you sit, shoulders back. You have your spine straight. Your hips are open. How are you comfortable? Yeah, I, I can put the... Yes, yeah, of course you can. The idea is to sit with the spine all the way straight up. The lowest chakra, Mulandara, all the way up to the Sahasara. And the spine, like a string, is pulling you up from the sacrum all the way up to God. So you're straight, right? So the idea is just sit, be, pray, be patient, and let the world settle down and expect nothing. So you're going to repeat the mantra, rum, rum, rum. Inside our heart? Yes, to yourself. You're going to repeat rum until it vibrates through, throughout. It may not vibrate, but rum. You think the mantra yeah. to the exclusion of all thoughts. Now, thoughts will come and go. You'll forget the mantra. Yeah. <clears throat> but gently come back. Over and over, you gently come back to the mantra. When you lose it, <clears throat> forgive yourself and come back. So you're sitting, patience. Expect nothing. Absolutely nothing. My day. I didn't set the alarm. My day. You have an alarm? No, no. Oh, here. Yeah. I think she's going to. That's she okay. Does That's all right. Okay. Set the alarm for 20 minutes. This one. Press start. So, again, you expect nothing. It's just because you promised Uncle Russ you're going to sit. That's it. You promised. Fuck. You're stuck with Russell. And you have no choice but to sit. Okay. The mind's going to go crazy. Okay. All the thoughts have ever come through your head, and the thoughts are like clouds. You watch mm -hmm. them come back. The goal of the meditator is to become the watcher so that he or she lives in moving prayer. Now, Christians prayer, they ask for things, but the kind of prayer I'm referring to is one where we're totally present, moving prayer, totally present. But we're going to sit and let the nervous system calm until we feel a presence. But we don't expect anything, and we're patient. So we're just patient. We're stuck here with Russell. You know, the shoulders are back. Tuck our chin a little bit. If you feel really comfortable, yes, then soon you'll turn to stone. You'll feel like stone. But if not stone today, stone tomorrow. Expect nothing. Expect that you'll sit for 20 long minutes. You'll repeat the mantra, rum, 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 to yourself, fast or slow, rum. Be here now. The sounds are not distractions. They're reminders that we're here now. Awake and present. Put on a silly smile. Repeat the mantra rum to yourself.
lose the mantra, forgive yourself and gently come back. If a thought becomes so prominent, it's okay to think it. Then come back.
you may notice. Take your time, flick your eyes if you feel up to it. Breathe a little deeper, a little bit. Every meditation is different every morning. The mind is still, you're happy. When the mind is noisy, you're sad. Sadness comes from the fluctuation of the mind. Neediness is the cause of suffering. So a state of needing nothing, this is the goal of meditation. This is the goal of life, to live in a state of needing nothing. I called it super rich. A state of needing nothing. A comfortable seat is life's goal. Only goal, comfortable seat. You gain that through doing God's tricks. Ahimsa, non-harming, non-lying, satya, asteya, brahmacharya, pargai, what that is, non-harming, non-lying, non-stealing, control of bad energy, giving your efforts, I'm sorry, and non-greed. <clears throat> Those yamas, contentment, cleanliness, study of self, scripture, giving all your efforts to God and all of these toys that God gives you. Meditation is the seventh of the eight toys. Tricks, quiet the mind. Being obedient to God, taking care of your temple, helps to quiet the mind. Our only goal is to have the mind quiet and in a state of needing nothing. So we seek to live there in a state of Christ consciousness. Christ consciousness, like the Buddhist Nirvana, like the Muslims Takwa, like the yogi state of Samadhi or state of yoga, Hindu Moksha, same thing. All the same. All the prophets ask you to be still and know. Stillness of the mind is life's goal. To attain full stillness is enlightenment. Let's try to be obedient to God today. Let our minds settle for the noise of the world. Good morning, Hana, and Namaste. Which means the God in me is acknowledging the goddess in you. So beautiful. Did you like that? Yes. You're crying. Yes. Oh. I'm very happy. Your first time, so there you have it. This woman for her first time, my guest. So, oh, don't cry. You know, 
the present moment is so beautiful it brings you to tears. Yes. Being in the moment when you get a new call. When something new happens and eliminates the neediness or the noise of suffering. Like I said, the present moment from a dancing. It's so beautiful to be here now. And all of our efforts are for that and only that. Another second of presence. State of needing nothing. Super rich. Namaste, darling. Namaste. Again. You going to go to yoga? Yes. All right, get ready. Okay. Because you have to. I don't you think you see. should drive your car. Let my day ride you on her scooter. Oh, you don't okay. want to ride on my scooter because. <laughs> But, I, I and we'll have ready. someone, huh? I get ready, yeah. Yeah, get ready. Okay. What time is it? Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, I'm going to go jump in the ice bath. Okay. I'll see you yeah. here. Well, I'm going to ride my scooter there. Yeah, okay. My day? Yes, sir. Make sure that Hannah gets to yoga. <laughs> okay. Can you ride on her scooter? Yes, sure. Okay. See you there. <laughs>